I'm the Genius Asian. Welcome to the Genius Family. Today, we are going to show you how to make a custom fit face mask that allows you to quickly and easily replace a filter. This is a plastic peanut butter jar. I cut off about an inch and a half circle around the top. Don't cut through the circle, keep the circle intact. If you have a higher nose bridge, you may need to make it a little more than that. Make a few vertical cuts like this. Bend the tabs outward so that the bridge of your nose can fit in. Drill a couple of holes on the side for the straps. This is packing foam. Fold the foam in half. Measure the distance from where you will place the top of the foam down to your nostrils. Make a slit in the foam so that you can breathe. Put the foam in a plastic bag. Use tape to secure the foam so that it does not shift inside the bag. Cut a slit in the plastic bag at the same location as the slit in the foam. Use duct tape to cover and reinforce these slits so that a breathing opening is formed. On the outward facing side, add more strips of duct tape to make a thicker covering so that the plastic circle can sit on the duct tape. Secure the circle to the foam with duct tape completely covering the outward facing side of the foam. For the inward facing side, the entire face does not need to be covered by duct tape so that it is softer and will provide a better fit. The top of the foam needs to form an inverted V shape so that the foam does not block your eyes. This is an example. Depending on your bone structure, there may be other shapes that fit you better, such as this. Insert the paper clip into the hole you drilled earlier, starting at the inside of the circle and pushing through the outside layer of duct tape to the outside. Use pliers to bend the paper clip wire to form a loop like this. Use duct tape to cover the paper clips on the inside of the circle. Duct tape the inside of the jar to the foam pad to completely seal it. For straps, you may use elastic bands, rubber bands, or other cords. If you have nothing else, you can use shoelaces. Tie the middle of the strap to the wire loop in the mask. Do this on both sides. Use one half of one lace with one half of the other lace to go around the back of your neck underneath your ear. The remaining two halves will go around the back of your head, above your ear. Or if you have some toggle clasps, you can add those. You can either put the lid on or use your hand to test the air tightness. Use duct tape to plug any leaks. Drill multiple holes in the lid. You do have to be able to breathe after all. Place the filtering material over the opening and use the lid to secure the filter materials. It only takes three seconds to replace the filter. The most expensive part of a mask is the filter material. If you sew the filter material into some fabric, the edges are not utilized. Thus, this is not very efficient. The best part of this design is that the utilization of the expensive filter is very high. You breathe through the whole filter area. If you want to test the effectiveness of your filter, check out our other video on how to test your filter materials. Be aware that some air filters that are more commonly household but not personal use may shed small fibers that may be risky to inhale or contain other materials that could release harmful chemicals to your lungs. Depending on what you have on hand, you may have alternative designs. For example, this is a cocoa powder container. I cut a template out of cardboard and then use the template to cut the container to fit my nose bridge and chin. Since the plastic is relatively flexible, you might save more of the side of the container to tape to the foam for stronger support. Anyway, similar to the commercial N95 mask or respirators, this mask fits you that is, it eliminates gaps better than the soft cloth or surgical masks, although it is not quite as comfortable. Our previous DIY face masks viral video struck a compromise. It reduced or eliminated the gaps, although it was not as tight a seal as this one. We used coated wire to fit the form around your face and then use it to reinforce the surgical mask. Many viewers asked what kind of wires I used in that video. Here is the answer. Those wires came from some lamps I removed years ago. The outer diameter is two millimeters and the bare copper diameter is one millimeter. You may use the wire to improve your surgical masks 
or incorporate it in your favorite DIY mask design. Because of the PPE shortage, some medical personnel have turned to DIY face shields. I encourage people to check out our DIY face shield, which is the best. Share this with people who you know that need it. Leave your own genius tips in the comment section below. Don't forget, I'm the genius Asian. Subscribe for more useful videos.